Hello, victims. Ah, just joking. Hi, fellow Kitsunis. My name is Kitsu. Previously, I made a tutorial of how to get the expression eyes out from the male's head uh, because the girl already has them. Uh, this tutorial is to show you how you can create different expressions for your VTuber. So most of the steps are similar to the previous tutorial. So I believe you can do this with not much problem. If you forget, you can always go back and repeat the process. Alright, let's go. So we can add a new shape key. Let's call this one shocked. And then same thing as before. We're gonna go to solid view. And we already have our eye selected, the eye effects. Press shift D to make a copy of those. Move them back a little bit. And because they're connected to these right here, they're going to move along with the same objects because they're a copy of them. Meaning, you're gonna have to like uh, make sure they're not animated along with the shape key so that like they're no longer connected to it. So in order to do that, you go to blend from shape. This thing will pop up at the bottom. Um, I'm pretty much blocking it, so let me get out of the way for a bit. So this thing is gonna pop right here and you go to basis. So let's see what happens right here. I'm gonna play the animation and then basis. I'm gonna click add right here because we don't want that to be added to the animation. So now we go back to color mode. You can see right there, the original is showing up, but the copy is not. So that's what we want right there. We don't want that to be part of the animation. Same thing with this right here. We can also do the same thing. Vertex, blend from shape. There we go. Make sure that add is not checked because that means you're adding that uh, shape key to the other shape key right here. You're pretty much adding it to a different one. All right. So now that we got that, we can go back here and we can actually play this as well. And same thing as always as the previous one, we bring it to the front. And you can see it's right there. So before moving on to adding the new eye expression to my to the character, um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I did my eye expression here. So just shift click do a circle, do that in, and then shrink down this circle a little bit, and then just delete that. Make sure this is off. Add another layer here, then color it white. Make sure the inside is white. Go over here, take that out, grab my pen and tablet, grab the pen tool, and you know, I'm just gonna go, just gonna go crazy a bit right here, since that's how it's supposed to look like. So you know, that's pretty much all you do. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much all you do. Once you're done, go here, save as, and then just put, yeah, just gonna save as here. Save it as a PNG, put it wherever you like. All right, so now that I made that um, eye expression as a 2D, as a 2D uh, PNG, the next thing to do would be to actually add that, PN, that PNG image into this eye. So this is just a copy. So we're gonna have to go to materials right here, material properties. And you can see right here, it's added to this one. So we want to create a new one. So you go to material properties, go right here, press plus, add new material slot, press new, and then press assign. As you already have it connected to it. Um, it's weird that it's not showing up. Let's go right here, bring it to the front. There we go. I don't know why it decided to go back in. But yeah, so now that you added the new material in there, go to shading. Let's zoom in close to the character here. All right, so now you can see this, we have this right here, um, but we do not want that. So instead, we got to go to the other one right here. You're going to have to like search for the original. Okay, so this right here at the top, this one is the original right here. So what you want to do is you want to copy all of this right here. So let's uh, zoom out for a little bit and then just Click and drag, right click, here you go, copy, go back to your material, delete all this right here by pressing X, and you can see it becomes purple. So now you put, click paste, and you can see it added the original image in there, uh, but this is just a, this is all a copy of it. So I tried the, the, um, 
the simple way that most people do it, but it didn't seem to work. So I decided to mess with the model a little bit and I can see that it has like all these things in there. So everything is done a little bit different in a bit more time consuming way. So um, in order to quickly bypass everything, I just copy all this, new image, and then untitled, let's call it shot I, and then don't mess with anything here, click OK. There we go, you got the shock die. And now you go to the folder and then you get a search for your image in here. And there you go, you can see the eye is right there. It looks weird at the moment, but we'll fix that later. Uh, shade textures, you go right here, you can see it has the same one as the previous eye. So now it should be saved right here somewhere. So you gotta look for it here. Now that it's part of your project, there we go. Search for it there, click on it, and then you go to um, right here to the material viewer on the side. Um, find settings. You see it right here it says blend mode. Click alpha hashed. And then shader mode, alpha hashed. And you can see it's now transparent instead of black. But we still want to fix the eye. We can see the eyes are not completely showing. So we go to UV editing. Make sure your eyes are selected which they are, but it's not showing you the image on this side right over here. So you gotta go up here and then search for it, which is right there. There we go. And we go to um, color view right here. So now get a closer look at the eye right there. You can see the white shock die is right there. So now you gotta click one of the vertices, press L, get the move tool. And then move this to the left. Uh, press Control if you want everything to be even. So count how many how many steps you take. One, two, three, four. There we go. Do the same for the other one. Press L. You can also see right here this eye is like more aligned now, so it looks even. It looks it's starting to look really good now. So now you do the same thing with the other eye. Control one, two, three. There we go. All right. And then you can see the eyes are right there, uh, but it looks a little bit stretched. So we can select both bird, both the objects right here, and then you know just move this up and down. You can see it's really messing with it. So it's more better if we just select the entire thing, and then go to the scale mode, and then you know you can just move it up, down, and see what kind of effects you get. You can move it sideways. You can see you're getting, yeah, you're getting like really good stuff right here. You can also scale the object itself as well. So, yeah. Yeah, but um, even if you do, it's not gonna cover the entire eye. So, what we need to do here is pretty much the same thing as before. So, make sure you have this on. Go back to layout. Uh, we're gonna go to edit mode again. And then we're gonna hide the eyes. And same thing as before, we need to hide the eyelashes. So just redo everything. I'm not gonna go through this again, so I'm just gonna fast forward. One thing I didn't mention: um, you're not just gonna, you're not go just going to grab the eyelashes. You're also going to grab the eye itself. So in order to grab the eye, there are two layers on the eye. So there's one for highlights, and there's one for the eye itself. So you're gonna have to go to this mode right here. So see through, and then same thing as always: shift click, press L. Make sure you grab the eye itself, not anything else. There we go. Then grab the eye, make sure you got the eye. She's gonna have to do like a lot of trial and error here too because it doesn't grab the same thing. There we go. And then same thing for the other eye. So fast forward again. All right, so now that I got everything selected, make sure you got nothing else selected, nothing extra that you don't want in there. So once you're done, Bring it to the back, same thing as before, scale it down, there you go. So now we got like a, a really uh, weird creepy face here with the eyes right there, so <laughs> that is not how anime works, so we're going to have to go back to edit mode here and go to front view, turn this off, you don't need to see it through anymore, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to like shrink the eye itself right here, like close it completely. And an easy way to do that is to just yeah, select all the vertices around the eye here. Same thing with the other eye here. 
Oh wait, no. You gotta do one eye at a time. <laughs> so now that you got it, press S to scale it, hold control, and then look at the top left corner of your screen. You'll see some numbers right there. So I keep track of C. So C says 0 0.2, so we're gonna leave it right there. Click. Oh wait, there was one thing. Turn this off. <laughs> yeah, turn this off. Sometimes you for I forget that this thing is on, so that can mess you up if you don't want to. That can actually mess you up, so <laughs> just be sure to t turn it off. Because you just want regular edits. It's regular edits. Blah. I don't know why I'm saying sometimes. There we go, Point zero point two. There we go. Same thing with the other eye. Make sure you reach point two on the top. Click. There we go. And we got like a really creepy face right here. So <laughs> that's going to be really creepy. So um, now press Alt H to unhide. And let's have a front look at this. Oh, front look, not back look. There we go. But the eyes, okay, so now it looks almost believable. Um, it looks weird that they are actually short. I'm not sure if there's animes that do that, but I mean, this can work. But for me, I'm gonna have to scale this. So I'm gonna press S to scale the eyes up. Um, weird how they're actually separating from each other instead of the usual. Oh. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so be sure to select everything. Um, select the eye, touch, click this, press L. Shift click the other eye, press L. There you go. Man, I'm a stupid fox sometimes. Scale it up. Close enough. So now you gotta edit them, press L. And then just move into the back to the side over here. That'll do. Just move it once by holding control. There we go. Alright, and that should be done right now. So now test the animation now. You can see that's what it does. It's doing its job. And there we go. So now it's time to test this out. Be sure to turn the armature back on. I uh, turn it off because I don't want the bones to be in the way. Okay, so now that you added your character into Bop, you can just like um, add the model in here, click this, search for your model, and then just import it in there. Then you go to emojis, same as previous video, and then you go to add expression. And then you know, just scroll all the way down, and it'll be, you know, you have this one right here, and then you got that one. Same thing as before. <laughs> Maybe however you like, just put it shocked and then just click save. And that should be down here. Yeah, I created two of them. <laughs> and there you go. And there you go. That was making your own eye expression. I enjoyed doing this so much that I decided to set a goal. Um, if I can get at least 500 subs by the end of 2021, I'll consider it a win. So please help me out so I can help you with more tutorials like these. These are just so much fun and inspiring to do. I really want to do more. It is very satisfying to see the end results, just like this new look that I got. <laughs> My name is Kitsu. I mostly go by Kitsuart online, and I stream Fridays and Saturdays on Twitch at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Show your friends, feel free to follow me and my other social media, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves guys, have a happy Halloween! <laughs>